Welcome to Dream Body Lifestyle TV. Today I'm going to take you through the process of weight loss. Majority of people when they start any weight loss program, they expect losing weight from week one. They do not understand the process that the body has to go through to change everything and weight loss or the initial weight that you start, so the minute that your body starts to burn fat, it comes normally from week three going onward. So let me take you through this and for you to understand what happens when it starts with week one. Any kind of exercise, any kind of eating plan, irrespective of how good it is for your health, your body always sees it as stress. And any time your body sees any kind of activity as stress, all it has to do is it has to adjust itself and it adjusts itself not for you to lose weight, not for you to fit in your skinny jeans, not for you to fit in your two-piece. It doesn't really matter how great you look in your wedding gown in the next coming 12 weeks. All that your body focuses on is survival. It looks as uh, whatever you're trying to do as something that is going to kill you and it will try whatever it can to make sure that you don't die. So first week, the major changes that most people will always bring in their life, number one is, I'll use the word diet loosely, but change of nutrition. And here at Dream Body, when this happens, the first thing we do here is to change your body from being a sugar burner to a fat burner. So it means for the first seven days, we're going to completely cut the amount of sugar that you're putting in. Now your body sees that as stress because the total number of calories that you're going to be ingesting automatically will drastically drop. Remember if you're eating processed foods, if you eat a pizza, a large pizza, you can comfortably ingest 3,000 calories in one go. But when you start eating nutritious, healthy, dense foods, you eat that much, you are full, but the number of calories is less. So when this happens, your body sees this as stress. What is the response? The first thing that the body does here is lose weight. That's the first process. Second thing that the body does here, of course, is increase body fat percentage. Why does it increase body fat percentage? Because your body feels safe. You're gonna to have to look at your body fat as your savings account. So if the body feels under attack, it has to increase its savings account so that you don't die. And of course, the third thing that is going to happen here in terms of response is loss of muscle. So when most people do this kind of assessment, they've tried, they've changed the way they eat. They've eaten the best they've eaten in the last couple of months, the last couple of years, and they get this kind of outcome. They always end up giving up thinking that the program is not working, not factoring in the biological, uh, physiological response that the body has to the new change. Then it brings us here to week two. <clears throat> week two, I'm going to increase stress. Here it's only diet, but now it's diet here plus exercise. Exercise becomes another stress factor. So here it's increased stress. What, does, what is your body's response? The first one here, because I'm going to start doing what we call macronutrient cycling, where I'm starting to bring in uh, starchy carbohydrates to increase your glycogen so that your metabolism does not drop, so that you increase your body's fat burning process. That automatically will increase your weight here, depending, but normally one, one or, or two kilos, depending, but it won't be more than that. The second thing that will happen here when we start exercising, there's going to be a slight drop in body fat percentage. And thirdly, it's going to be a slight increase in skeletal muscle. That's the response. Slight shift, but you can see things are changing. Then week three, I will increase stress. Week three here, I still have diet. Then I'm increasing exercise intensity. 
every week I'm going to increase exercise intensity. Thus increase, this will be double stress on your system. Body's response now, your body knows that I have to adapt because this person is not going to accommodate me. And remember, as we said earlier, your body's priority is being alive. Your body doesn't want you to die. So what is the response here? The response automatically knows this body needs to be worked out. And now it knows that there's going to be a consistent input of high quality food. So the calories are down, but the quality of food is high. So here, your body doesn't have to increase the weight. Automatically, there'll be loss of weight here. Loss of weight here. The second thing that it will do, because you're working harder, the body needs to be stressed. Again, it's an external stimuli, which can be simply as body weight exercises. There has to be a drop in body fat percentage. Drop in body fat percentage. Because of consistency of food, high quality food, your body doesn't have to hold on to it. And because of the stress, the physical stress from exercise, there has to be an increase in skeletal muscle. Anytime you get into any kind of exercise, the key thing that you have to focus on is most women focus more on the weight on the scale, but the important thing is to look at your, your body composition. If you are losing muscle, you're losing 10 kilos in total weight. And out of that 10 kilos, you've lost seven kilos muscle and you've lost only three kilos fat. The overall output here you've lost, you've just become a fatter person, but at a smaller weight. So this becomes how we use our program. And then from week four, because there is, uh, your body is now used to whatever kind of stress that we put in, and it knows that it doesn't have to hold to anything automatically, we start consistently losing weight, bringing our body fat percentage, getting fit and stronger from week four or day 28 going forward. So it will always take you on average at least 21 to 28 days, depending on one's dieting history. Most women start dieting at a very young age. So majority of them, the important thing I have to do first is to repair the broken metabolism before I can think of anything. I need to control that body, number one, not to put on more weight. The second thing I need to do here is to make sure that I need to bring the body fat percentage down. And then the third week is where I start focusing to bring the weight down because the whole system is stabilized. Let me know what works for you here. If you've got any questions, don't feel shy to let me know. Send me questions in the comment section. Feel free to share this with friends and family. And remember, being overweight is not socially selective. If our eating is wrong and our lifestyle is not ideal to health, it doesn't matter how thin you are. You can still be overweight and suffer from health issues going forward. This is your coach, Mululu X. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a beautiful day.